Uh, I'm the chief engineer for MBL. I'm working for MBL for over 40 years and uh, would like to explain you a little bit about the technique, how this loudspeaker is working and also how it does interact with the room. And uh, for the morning presentation I started with the technique and then the, as a second part of the acoustic here now I exchange both parts, uh, so I begin with the acoustic. Um, when you hear anything, no matter if it's a loudspeaker or, um, or an acoustical uh, event, can you please be a little quiet, bit quieter? Yes. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. Um, <laughs> you have uh, always at first the direct sound. The direct sound, no matter if it's a loudspeaker or it's an uh, acoustical performance, is the sound that reaches your ear without touching any surface. This direct sound um, is in time-wise approximately in the first three milliseconds you hear something. So in these three milliseconds, uh, your brain cannot uh, judge the, the sonic the quality of the impulse, but it can. It's very important for the direction because in long, long time ago in nature, these three milliseconds is important for you to survive. So if you are attacked, you must immediately know what direction. <laughs> the, for example, the tiger is coming. So you <laughs> and so in this uh, three milliseconds is the same. Uh, with non-animals, if you're listening to a, a musician or to a loudspeaker, and see this three milliseconds, you uh, d detect in what direction the sound is coming to you. And also, uh, in these three milliseconds, uh, the first attack is used to uh, build up what's coming up in the in the next part. And uh, with this loudspeaker. Uh, it's obvious that it radiates 360 degrees. That means that not e only the direct sound has the same um, uh, sound quality or the same uh, tonal balance, but also the what you hear in the so-called listening window. Um, the direct sound in your listening position is approximately two percentage what is important when you want to judge uh, the loudspeaker or when you want to judge an instrument or anything. So if this uh, direct sound directly to you uh, is only two percentage. But if you then move your head and your uh, vertical and horizontal, uh, uh, you pick up a, a little bit different tonal characteristics no matter if this is an instrument or if this is a loudspeaker. And if you sum up the so-called listening window, you will end up at 12 percentage what's important to, to judge the sound quality. And uh, this also the, in this listening window, we are talking only about the direct sound. So, uh, um, and the, the point is that uh, for a loudspeaker, for example, if you change your head or stand up, sit down, uh, some loudspeakers do change the tonal characteristic. If you have, a, for example, a two-way system with a larger woofer, smaller tweeter, and you you uh, go 30 degrees uh, horizontal, then uh, you have um, the crossover section of the woofer and the tweeter uh, narrow band, so the, you, the sound will definitely change, not with this. And for a real instrument, the sound does also change, but it does change naturally. Mm -hmm. And uh, even if you're sitting uh, fixed to one position, you, your brain does detect what is happening here, what is happening there, or here or there. So uh, even if you m would measure where you exactly sit, um, your brain detects also the pressure difference between left, right, up and down. So because if there is a pressure difference of 2 dB at 100 Hz between here and here, uh, uh, air is uh, going from the higher pressure point to the lower pressure point. And even the, the, 
this, the microphone that cannot think, that uh, will not uh, detect this, your brain will notice this. So it's important really to um, get uh, this listening window into account. Now I think I have to talk too much. Uh, in between I play some songs. <laughs> Was too long, right? No. 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 Oh, which song should More technical things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can.